Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to episode four of Let's Build Disney Land. In this episode, we're going to be working on the town hall, fire department, and the other buildings that are on the left-hand side of the main, um, the main street town square. Here, I'm starting on the first part of the main um, town hall building, which it's mostly um, going to be used with brick. A lot of these areas in Main Street will be using brick. Um, and what I do is uh, I create like a flat plane and then um, of the brick or any other block I'm using and then try and like carve into it. So here I, you can see I'm working on the stairs to the main entrance, trying to see how I should position everything, how everything will work together. Um, I'm using the regular stone um, slabs as accents here. You can see I have to actually change the dimensions of the building because it just it was off a little bit, so it just looked weird. Um, here I'm adding in glass. On the second story windows, I actually did something slightly different. Um, I, two things. One thing is is that the dimensions of the windows are different from the dimensions of the windows on the bottom. Windows on the on the bottom are just one by two. Um, what one block wide by two blocks tall, while the dimensions on the um, um, upper windows are one block by one and a half. I added a half slab into the window, so then um, it gives it kind of a effect of it still being the same size as the ones on the bottom, but actually it's a little bit smaller. Um, kind of a uh, Minecraft version of Force Perspective that Di the Disney company uses a lot. Also, I added... Um, a, a darker stained glass, so then um, it gives it more of a darker look to it. So your eyes still see it as a window, but it's you see less in it. I, I use a technique like that throughout these builds. Um, here, I um, you can see I'm putting accents onto the roof. The roof I'm just using a mixture of um, uh, nether brick um, blocks, nether brick. Um, stairs and nether brick slabs and with quartz um, blocks, stairs and slabs on the corners um, for more accents. Uh, I'm using, um, I've, I've noticed that I'm using brick and quartz a lot in these builds. Uh, I, I don't, I, I think it gives a um, kind of a uh, more old, I guess old timey feel to it, um, having that brick with a nice white highlight with it. I don't know. People apparently people don't like using bricks in their builds, but personally to me, if depending on how you do it, um, it, it can turn out pretty well. Like here at the town hall, you can already see that it's starting to take shape. Here I'm working on the Ford um, Tower, and now I'm adding in rails. On the, on the top. Um, yeah, now I'm looking at more detailing work, adding in more of the details along the front and the sides, trying to get everything nicely worked out, adding in windows, but I was going to use panes, but decided not to because it wouldn't attach to those stairs. So I just put, put front doors just to look at, and now off to the firehouse. Um, Again, all of the things in um, the park will be subject to change as of the firehouse. The original plan called it be, to be a certain size, and if you noticed just then, I had um, changed the sizing of it because it just didn't look right to me. Um, I do that a lot with all my builds. Um, I'm not always going for a perfect sizing. Um, I'm not measuring out. Um, to, for it to be a hundred um, one to one scale um, with the original, that's not why I'm here for. I'm here for, to make it look good, not to be exact. Um, now, here I use like a. I actually started using a little bit of different technique. I added a red stained clay above the um, the window in the forward protruding area. And that kind of represents a overhang, like a red canvas overhang. Um, 
And I have never actually done that before because I don't know if I completely like that technique, but uh, to me here it worked and I actually used it on other um, builds within uh, Main Street, namely the Opera House. So here I continue building up, continue um, doing more decoration, and now here's, I'm going to be starting to work on the connecting area between the main town hall and the firehouse. How to kind of expand town hall a bit um, because it goes back quite a ways. Um, so, and if if any of you remember. Um, Going to Disneyland, I know that there are restrooms in this connecting area. Um, I, I think it's men on the right, women on the left. I don't remember completely. Um, I haven't been to Disneyland in quite a while, and I really want to go. I'm dying to go. Um, here you can see that I changed camera angles as well as. Um, the area is cut in half. Um, it's because I did not like the sizing of it, um, the spacing. So I went into MC Edit and just moved a, a section of the entire building over two blocks so I can get the sizing that I want it to be. Um, I do. I don't use MC Edit a lot. I only use it for um, things like that where I just I don't want to go back and tear down an entire part if I'm already set with it. Um, and I just use it like that. And then also, if I want to, um, or, or if I have, if I, I want to do things that just aren't possible inside the vanilla Minecraft as well. Uh, um, I'm using um, pine stairs and pine a lot of things actually in these builds. Um, it gives a kind of nice bright clean accent along with like the quartz. Um, I think it just gives that a nice uh, clean cut look. Um, I've been working on the side of the town hall again um, trying to make it um, continue because you can still see part of the town hall from the side. Um, not completely but somewhat. So here we're going to go to the other side of the town hall, um, and I'm not really sure what this side building is for. Um, it kind of resembles the firehouse, but I don't remember what it's for. I don't think I ever actually paid attention to it while I actually went to Disneyland. I'm going to have to next time I go. No, no idea when that is, but we'll find out. Um, but just looking at reference pictures, um, I, I just decided to use reference pictures for this one. Uh, none of my own um, memories have gone into this, this part of the building. Um, so I use, I'm just again using brick, quartz, um, same standard technique. Wanted to try some different designs on the top part of the connector, but decided not to. It just looked funky. It looks fine as it is anyway. Uh, and this one's a little bit shorter, a little less um, full than the other parts of the building, because just in itself in the reference picture, it just doesn't have as much emphasis on it as the other two parts. Um, kind of forgotten, rather. That's why I never really noticed it. So again, having to expand the town hall, getting it to the proper length. Um, while I continue to expand off of it. Coming back around, finishing up final touches, um, final details, and now this is what we have now. Um, so the next in the next episode we're going to be working on the Main Street Opera House. Um, and then continue on after that. I actually have had this episode recorded, the Opera House episode recorded, and then the next, I think, three episodes? A couple episodes. Um, 
already recorded before I finally recorded this um, commentary. Um, and that's because of multiple reasons. Once I was having um, technical difficulties with the editing, so I had to wait anyway. Second thing is, is actually I got a new microphone, if you haven't have heard with the audio quality. Um, and I have been waiting a little bit to actually get it. Um, and then when I finally got it, uh, like quite a few days ago, um, I had to go out of town. So I had to wait again before I could record it. Um, so anyways, I hope I hadn't had you guys wait too long for this stuff. Hopefully I haven't had you on the edge of your seat. Um, I have all the way through episode 8 already recorded, and now I'm going to have to go and record the commentary for them. Anyway, okay. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you around.